Hi everybody, I'm Latina Russell and welcome to what will be my show, Wales of Lemuria, Awakening the Lemurian Within. I'm so pleased that we have this opportunity to bring the knowledge of Lemuria through the whales and through me to awakening souls all over our beautiful planet. People who are looking for a sense of family, looking for their soul tribe and wanting a deeper connection with their Lemurian selves. Knowing that they've had a connection to Lemuria but not knowing why. Wondering how they can enhance that connection and find out more. And that's what Awaken the Lemurian Within is all about. We know that we were seated on Lemuria, which is now the island of Hawaii. And we know that this happened hundreds of thousands of years ago. It began, and about 26,000 years ago, we were there. And this is the lifetime that we are longing to feel again. And the Lemuria uprising all over the globe is really about the awakening of each individual as they come into the knowledge of the inherent gifts and talents they had then in Lemuria that they carry with them now and that are just beginning to awaken today. My awakening and my connection to Lemuria began with the whales. We now know them as the whale unity heart and through them, I have created my own bridge to Lemuria. They have become my bridge to Lemuria. And because of them, and that I found my way back to my Lemurian heritage, as I'm here to help all of you do, I've also found my way back home to our original star family in the stars from the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters. When we were in Lemuria all those years ago, we were, the women were goddesses, priestesses, shamans, mothers, teachers, and more than that. And we held the consciousness of our civilization and we carried the welfare and the consciousness of our civilization. And we were the spiritual caretakers. And the men of Lemuria knew that. We were the ones who birthed the children and we were the ones who had the intuitive, natural intuitive knowledge about where to fish, when the weather was good, where not to go, when the season was to have babies, when the whales were coming, what we needed to do, where we needed to follow the stars, where we needed to steer. And that's what we did. We passed the knowledge down from our star parents, generation to generation, and we were celebrated for doing that. And we celebrated with each other through song and ceremony. Uh, and ceremony was how we connected, how we connected with our own groups, our own goddess groups, and how we would then connect with other, other goddess groups from the island of Lemuria, the continent of Mu. Well, there were many different groups there. And the men knew this, and the men were our um, carers. The men knew where we could build our homes. The men knew how to keep us safe. The men knew how to cook our meals. And they let the women do what the women did. And the men let the men do what the men did. And there was never a competition about, well, now the men want to have a go at this, and now the women want to have a go at that. It just seemed to be that there was the perfect balance. And so this is what we've been told. And this does feel right. Women now have been naturally imbued with the intuition um, enough so that we can know when our babies are crying, enough so when we, we know from another room we sleep with one eye open and one ear open and we know when we just have to get up in the night and check something. And that is women's intuition and it's, uh, it's called women's intuition and people know it as that, but it's actually a real, it's a thing. And so this women's intuition 
is what we've always had. And in the uncovering and in the celebrating of these um, gifts and more, we are helping to bring the divine feminine back into balance. And the divine feminine coming back into balance is what will eventually create a worldwide healing. And that's what we are here for now. We've got women all over the world, all over the planet, who are waking up now, who are learning that they have these gifts and talents they were born with, but what do they do now? How do they live with that in the world? What does it give them now to have those intuitive abilities? What does it mean to be a psychic woman? Does it mean that you need to read the tarot cards? Does it mean you are a witch? Does it mean that you need to have a cat and you know become a white witch and burn sage it doesn't mean any of those things it just means that you are acknowledging your inner light and in acknowledging your inner light and the light you carry within you you are giving yourself permission to shine and then giving others around you your children your family your friends all of your loved ones your colleagues you're giving them permission to shine as well. So this is what uncovering, uncovering the Lemurian soul is all about. We do this work through the Lemurian Sisterhood Network, the Lemurian Sisterhood Sacred Circles that are now, um, thank you to Amber Melehar wolf popping up all around our world, covering our crystalline grid. And the goddess grid is joining and lighting up all over the planet and this is a really beautiful thing because there's a network of women who are empowering others to come forward and step up and say this is me i am proud of who i am and i'm learning how to use it so through awakening the lemurian within what we're really trying to do is give permission and help souls that are awakening everywhere to feel okay with that to come out of the closet to be able to stand up and know who they are and know that just by acknowledging who they are that is enough so there doesn't need to be the popping up of people doing this for jobs and making careers out of it but when that happens that's a wonderful thing and you know most of us want that and I think that that's happening for more and more of us all the time, whether we become authors or healers or speakers or just spreading our light, it's becoming more and more common. And maybe that's because we're running into each other more and we're realising there's more of us out there and we're knowing who to talk to and we know when we catch someone's eye, we know who is a, a spiritual soul, we know who is a soul brother and a soul sister just because we've awakened that within ourselves. So Awakening the Lemurian Within will be holding our Sacred Sisterhood uh, circles online. And uh, part of those sisterhood circles is a beautiful meditation, a, a quantum meditation that can take us on a journey back to the shores of Lemuria, if that's where you choose to go. And it's not just for women, it's for men as well. Um, men who are in their divine masculine power and who can see women in their divine feminine power. Men and women who are balanced together and in union together. And in that case, by all means, um, any males who feel inclined to uncover their Lemurian souls, please come and join our circles. We will be having the quantum meditations where I will take you on a journey back to Lemuria. We will be taking questions about Lemuria. We'll be having lessons through the Lemurian rebirthing wheel, which are a series of six segments around the rebirthing wheel. And this rebirthing wheel has come to me as a result of Cryon, our beloved Cryon, bringing through the Lemurian teaching wheel a couple of years ago this started and since those teachings have started there has been 
people all over the world who are resonating with that, that's for sure. Many hundreds of thousands of millions of people resonating with that, with those teachings, who already resonate with the teachings of Kryon. But since then, there have been a number of us who have developed our own take on the wheel and who've developed our own template. Now, my template is the birthing template. And so what has come through thank you to our beloved whales of Lemuria, the whale unity heart, is the ability for us to rebirth our Lemurian souls through a process of uncovering who we were in Lemuria, what gifts we had then. And in doing so, we realize the similarities to our life now. So what we did then, you'll find you will have that pattern repeating somehow through your life, whether it's a quiet tap on the shoulder or just a whisper in the ear, or whether it's a loud banging on the door that you are somehow wanting to pay attention to but not knowing how, or whether you're beginning to pay attention to and you're saying yes to that. And so more and more of that is unfolding. So we'll go back to who we were then, what we did then, and we'll find that those gifts and talents something very special that we had, will be in our cellular memory and coming to the fore now. And there's no doubt, no coincidence why that's happening. It's happening for a, a, a real reason. It's happening because we are meant to be doing this now. Because as Gaia is coming back into balance and is Gaia, as Gaia now is an, a planet in ascension, so we are all in ascension and we are the ones paying attention to that are feeling the pull to allow that to happen and needing to know how we allow that to happen while still remaining in our physical bodies as a um, as clear and uh, present people who show up every day with our families and show up to jobs show up to school to universities and just show up so we need to be able to live in balance with that. So that is our role, to, to ascend, to become masters in our own right and to master our gifts whilst being able to live balanced as normal people in this world. Because when we can be normal, then this becomes normal. And the more of us that show up and are living normal lives, knowing full our spirituality and our oneness with the God inside, that's making the world a really beautiful place. So going back to the Lemurian rebirthing wheel, this is the first thing we'll do. As part of that process, we will also bring forth gifts that we can feel that we had then that we might not really know how to use in this life and we'll learn how to use them. We will also look at our parents in this life, which is the outer rim of our, our wheel, and we'll have a look at our relationship with our parents. And we'll look at our relationship to our inner child. And that can often be a, um, it's a very beautiful process. It can sometimes be a painful process, but we'll invite our inner child back to us, back with us, to the shores of Lemuria, where we take her or him back there. And with a wise knowingness that we have now that we didn't have when we were a child, we'll show them that it's okay. What they went through is okay. And we are here to love and support them through all of that in a way that we weren't able to then. And in a way, maybe nobody was able to then. Um, we will also, so inner child, parents, gifts that we have, gifts that we'd like to bring forth, we'll also look at things that we'd like to leave behind. And so that might be patterns that we've carried throughout our lives that we are not, that don't serve us anymore, basically. We've done that. We don't need to keep carrying it. We don't need to keep repeating it because it's no longer serving us. It's not in our highest good. It's not helping us walk in our highest light. It's not helping us hold the light or be the best people that we can be. So let's have a look at those things as well and start to let those fall away. 
So that really is um, part of the process of, of our circle. Uh, another very special part of our Lemuri sacred circles is that we will allow our whale unity heart, our beloved whales to speak through me. And that means I go into channel. So I'm a conscious channel, pretty well conscious. I come back a little bit slowly, but I'm, I'm still conscious. I know where I am. I know not everything that I speak. I don't remember everything at the end of it, but I can remember the, you know, the, the, the things that we talk about. Um, and I'll be able to take questions from our audience. So you'll be able to write in your questions before we go into channel and, um, and I'll be able to have a look at those and take them with me and we can ask and see what the Well Unity Heart had to say. So these are questions for our highest good that serve us and that are for the better and the, and the unity consciousness really is what I'm trying to say. So when we can be in our integrity and know that we are going to be asking questions that don't just benefit us, but that people listening will also benefit from, then the answers that come through are of a very um, profound, uh, very high energy and have a lot of light. Um, they come through also with sound uh, that is often light language and tones and beautiful song as well. So that anyone listening to these answers or to these, the information that comes through from the whales will feel the energetics of that um, now and at a later date should they choose to replay or should they be looking at this show when it's past its uh, airing date. So the energetics to that will still carry through. So it's always good to ask questions that uh, uh, benefit the whole, if we can. And then when there's really personal questions as well, then that's okay. Um, the Whale Unity Heart are there to answer and to help everybody. And we will always try and do that. The other beautiful energy that comes through in our Sacred Sisterhood circles, our Lemurian circles, is of our beloved star mothers. Now the star mothers were the ones who came to our planet and they seeded us in 12 different locations across our world. One of them was Lemuria, which is now, uh, as we know, the islands of Hawaii. And when Lemuria was very high, as it sat on a bubble of magma, it was a continent. It was known as the continent of Mu. And that bubble had to subside one day. And that is how the island uh, of the continent of Lemuria began to sink as the bubble of magma subsided. It couldn't stay um, as a bubble that whole time. But when it was at its height, the island now, that is Big Island with Mauna Kea, was the highest point across the planet, higher than Mount Everest is today. And it still is the largest mountain in existence on our planet, but a lot of it is covered by water. So when the Pleiades saw these places across the world, that was one of them. And they came and they stayed. And it was the women who came because it was the Pleiadian, the female Pleiadians who came to give birth. And that process took thousands of years before the humans were seeded and our DNA was altered and changed so that we could recognize the God inside and that we would reach for the God inside so we knew we had a soul. And once that seeding had taken place, they, they began to teach and those of us who were direct descendants of a star mother were the teachers in Lemuria and other places as well. But we're talking about the lifetime that we had in Lemuria. And we only incarnated there once. And once our souls, once our bodies had, once we made our transition back to uh, our, our soul, our soul then incarnated a different part on the globe and there was a reason for this and and what i've been told by um 
by the unity heart of the whales is that the reason for this was so that when we eventually woke up that Lemurian soul was being incarnated all across the planet so that everywhere across the world there were points of light and that the population of uh, and the frequency of that light would become stronger and stronger the more of us that incarnated as we had our life in Lemuria then incarnated elsewhere those lights would become stronger and stronger so that eventually at this point in time right now as we're all waking up um, our Lemurian souls are, are, are joining again but we're all over the world so as Lemuria is reawakening, that means that Lemurian souls are reawakening. We are awakening the Lemurian within and it's happening like a blanket across the planet. And that's why there's such an interest in this time and place that was beautiful and full of very, very high consciousness. So when the star mothers stayed with us and taught us the descendants of the star mothers who are the priestesses and the teachers today we will find were the teachers and the priestesses in Lemuria and we lived for longer than a regular human we had a um, heightened DNA and surely we didn't have the pollution and the chemicals and the technological bombardments that we have now that weaken our immune systems so we did live longer but the teachers and the priestesses were able to sustain their life even longer than that and the reason they did this was so that the teachings of the Lemurian teachings and the teachings of the God inside and how we are true creators and true creator beings was able to be passed on um, purely and so the energy was pure and we needed to live a long time so that we could pass that down from generation to generation to generation so now what we find is that there's information coming out um, I'll tell you a little bit of a story about um, my, myself and my own awakening and how I have linked what I did then with what I'm doing now I didn't consciously, I didn't set out to make that link. The, the link has been shown to me. And as I've felt my heart and my soul resonate with that, and I've said yes to that, then the more and more of that is beginning to unfold. So the whales have called me my entire life. And most notably when I was a teenager, I began to have very very vivid dreams of being with the whales and the dolphins and never ever um, being fearful of them always wanting to be close to them and then in my physical life I would see them in places where they shouldn't be and places where I wouldn't expect to see dolphins and whales there they were and quite close to me as well but it was only in 2017 that I encountered the whales so closely underneath my kayak that they activated me in a way that I hadn't been activated before. Now just prior a couple of years, year and a half prior to this time, I had made connection with Meleha who is Dr. Amber Meleha Wolf of the Lemurian Sisterhood Global Network and it's through her Akashic awakening and unfolding that she has founded this wonderful network of Lemurian sisters across the world and I had contact with her and I resonated so deeply with the the teachings but it wasn't my time to become um, one of the sisterhood hosts but after the whales had activated so strongly under my kayak and I went back onto the shore and I said to my husband that's it, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take women on healing retreats to the whales. It was then that I made contact again with Meleha and things just rolled from there. So the timing was right and that the divine right timing and I was ready and I was had a true heart opening. Um, they really were helping me along this time, um, saying, come on, it's, it's time that you wake up fully. And, 
pay attention a little bit more. Um, so that really began my connection with the whales in earnest, in a way that I hadn't had before, that I could put a, I could have a physical connection with them. And then I met another wonderful teacher who is a dear, dear friend of mine, Trish Regan, and she took me to the whales for my first time and helped me to be able to be in the water with them. And then she also helped me to open up myself to channeling the whale unity heart and then the rest is history. So from the beginning um, of my channelings, the whales have given information that is for everybody. It is for my own life. Some of the lessons are for me and they are personal, but most of it is for everybody. So I'm so grateful that as part of these teachings, they have um, brought through information on Lemuria. Um, what I did then with them in Lemuria was um, this is part of my, uh, this is why I have worked with the rebirthing template was because in Lemuria, I worked with the whales in the water and we were there when all the goddesses gave birth to their babies in the water, to the song of the whale, to the song of the goddesses and the whales held the energy and they held the crystalline grid for us. They recorded every birth. They recorded, uh, they have our records and they continue to hold our Kashik records and they know our Lemurian souls are awakening and they are with us on their journey. So that was about me uncovering what I did in Lemuria and bringing it into uh, sync with what I'm doing now. And that was because I said yes. So Awakening the Lemurian Within is a show devoted to helping you uncover your Lemurian soul and allowing it to shine with all the love and brightness that we know it has. And in allowing that to happen, we are opening your Akash to your very first Akashic record on this planet and that is the one that was full of love and compassion for yourself and for others when you really knew the God inside and when you knew yourself to be a powerful, powerful creator. And that's what we're here to do. So with me and the Whale Unity Heart and our beloved Star Mothers, we will be with you every Friday night at five to awaken the Lemurian within. So we hope you can join and if you'd like to see a little bit more information about me and the work I do with the whales, have a look at www.whalesoflemuria.com and my Facebook page is Lemurian Sisterhood Melbourne. So I really look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.